And first, we're going to bring on the man who has uh, traveled with us. He's always on the cruise. Every time I get on TV, he wants to get on there too. But every Christmas, he's right there for the kids. From Ma and Paul Green, supplies, the toys, and he's delivered to the kids. Let's bring on Fred Red, our senior male of the year. So let's bring on up. Fred Red. our senior of the year and uh, I really feel proud right now to give you this trophy and I hope that you will be there many more years for us do you have anything you want to say to the people out there well I would say that I like everybody to join me and let's keep this thing alive and make it better better ever and ever okay, okay. there it is you know, he lost a friend of his, and we call him the twins, Brother Amin, who's no longer with us this year. He was here at the ball last year, and they were like, you know, really twins. And we like to, uh, wherever you are, Amin, your boy got it. I would like to say, in behalf of Amin, he was a great friend and a great soul beat member. Take a, can't put it in the wood, but it take a bad man to fit his shoes. Okay. Thank you very much. The senior male of the year, Fred Red. Mona. You ready? Yes, uh-huh. This is Alameda Miller. Come on up here. Alameda, bring on, bring him on up the stage. Uh -huh. I can tell you a story about them. All right, go ahead and tell the story. Well, I have a story about them. As soon as uh, your husband gets here. Well, I want to tell you, first of all, that this couple sits in front of the church every Sunday, and at least once a month, they come dressed in their soul beat colors. And so, you know, I think they're also fans of the year. These are... A wonderful couple, and, and she takes great care of him. Before I sing, I want to tell him something. Uh, this is Reverend James Miller from uh, what's the name? Of place there in me, Church Oakland. And uh, I want to say here, and I hope everyone hear me, the pastor left this church in my charge. Reverend James Miller, now for the senior, what do you got to say, Queen? Well, I'm so happy, Mr. Johnson, that you gave this great honor to me as being the senior lady of Soul Beat for 2001. It's, and as it says, blessed is the man that walketh upright. So you is a very upright walking man. And I'm so glad that you walked upright to come to Oakland 23 years ago and do this beautiful work that's what you are doing on Soul Beat. And me and my husband are so proud yeah. to be a family member yeah. of Sophie and also of the community. And we thank you very much. And may the good Lord bless you and keep you is my prayer. Okay. Thank you. The senior of the year, Alameda Miller and the Reverend Dr. Miller. And there you have it. Thanks a lot.
Cooper coming up. And next we go to bring on, um, where is Agba? He's here. Is Agba here? Where is Agba? Come on up to stage, Agba. Come on, let's give him. Boy, boy, boy. Shay, are you here? Where is Shay? And where's Mary? Is Mary here? Because we're introducing right now the fan of the year. So, hey, Shay. Okay. You don't mow the lumber, don't you? Huh? Probably the first time. <laughs> okay. Now, tell me what it takes to be a fan of the year. <laughs> a whole lot of luck. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, Chuck. I was fan of the year uh, in 1999. I closed out the last century. And when I was fan of the year, I was the man. I used to go to Big Kmart, Chuck, and the whole the cash register would stop. Everybody would turn around and look and say, hey, there's Che, he's fan of the year. Little kids would run up to me and want my autograph, right? Now I go to Kmart, nobody even knows I'm there. It's rough not being fan of the year, Chuck. It's not easy. Ask Brother Akbar. All right. You heard this voice here every hour, every 30 minutes, every minute, and he'll squeeze a few calls in between there. You got your TV down? <laughs> okay. Here's Oddbar, our fan of the year last year, who's giving it up. Yeah, I got to give it up to that. I saw my I'm going to still be on the air, though. I'm going to still be the watchman. So, uh, But I'm glad that uh, Sister Edna's taken over. And I know she can do the job, because uh, she had a show the other day. She stood in for Alice. I know she can handle it. So thank you. All right. And now, let's bring her on. The new, the improved fan of the year. Yeah. So let's bring her on. Come on, man. Edna. Lewis, bring her up. There we go. <laughs> and I appreciate this lady. our fan of the year. Just give a round of applause. All right, Edna, here's your shining glory right now. Right. Talk to the people. Well, I am so excited to receive this award, but it's one thing that I can say that for you peoples out there, uh, help me to get this reward because I'm the one that a lot of times you hear the voice over the air saying different things. I, but most of all, I do love my peoples, elder peoples and children. I try my best to give the best advice that I can, hoping that somebody, a special children, listen to me. And if they, and want even one out of 100, listen and turn around their life. Because you know now, we're having so many murders here in Oakland. Every chance I get, I get on TV, I try to talk to the young and let them know there's a life out here for us all. And life is worth living. Don't throw themselves away. Go to school because we're going to need this. And what's going to happen with the future? I mean, we are getting older now, but the children now are going to have to carry work on. So, first of all, I want to thank God, and I also want to thank Mr. Johnson for the TV station, because we get so much good information over the TV. And um, I do know I can stand here all night and say things about the TV, but my time is limited. And this dress that I'm wearing, this outfit that I'm wearing, uh, Jane Head, 
he the one uh, made it for me. He told me he was going to have me in the mallet, but I was a little bit too nervous. But he said that uh, he liked the outfit, and I designed, he designed it, but I created it. Thank God, Mr. Johnson, for you. All right. Edna, look out there and let them see that James Head creation. Next year, you can get your dress from James Head. And now, Mona, read off the Civic Awards because we want all of them to come up to the stage right now. Okay, well, everyone who's received the Civic Awards come on stage. But I want to give a second hand to Edna Lewis. Okay. Thank you. Cheryl Dockery, will you all come forward? Pastor Dorothy McGee. Alice Spearman and Oscar Wright. If you'll all come forward. Then after we bring the Civic Awards, we're going to bring on the news team. So, uh, but first, we're going to bring up the Civic Awards. So all of you that get the Civic Award, come on up to the stage here. Can you make it there? All right. There you go. And uh, his badge here. Come on, come on, can you make it? Give a round of applause. <laughs> What's that famous slogan of yours? If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Okay, we want you to introduce uh, the one that you nominated to be uh, a Civic Award. So tell us a little bit about. Okay. I'm, I'm really proud to introduce this young woman. You know, they say that um, you're judged by the company that you keep. And a few years ago, I had an opportunity to make a friend we were working on the Million Woman March. And then last year, I heard that this young woman had received a special award from um, the Colin Powell Foundation. Then this year, I found out that she received the Volunteer Award of the Year from the Colin Powell Foundation. It is my pleasure to introduce to you a very dear friend of mine, an outstanding woman. She is also, I want you to know, uh, a fellow alumnus of mine. She's a graduate of USF. She is a stockbroker at Morgan Stanley. She is a devoted daughter. Um, in fact, her father was recently ill and she's doing a marvelous job of caring for him. The other thing that she does very well, and I, there's someone else I want to join me, Deputy Chief Police Michael Holland knows this person as well as I do and I'd like for him to say something about her, just why she got the award. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here tonight. I'd like you to know that Sharon is the president of the African American Advisory Committee on Crime. What the advisory committee does is help us in the police department stay aware of what it is that we're supposed to be providing to our community. Uh, but Sharon does far more than that. I want to tell you very briefly about a little incident that we had in Oakland on the 4th of July where we had two young men that were killed. A third young man was in the car and survived. We moved him from hospital to hospital so that the, other guy, the bad guys couldn't catch up with him. When we were done, Sharon then on her own got the young man out of the hospital, bought him clothes, bought him luggage, bought him airplane tickets, and flew him back to his hometown so he'd no longer be in danger here in Oakland. That's the kind of volunteerism and the commitment that Sharon Kidd has to our people in our community, and I wish we all had that kind of commitment. Okay, on behalf of the Soul Beat Television Network, our Civic Award for you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd just like to thank the city of Oakland for all the support and my mentors. Um, Chief Richard Word, Lieutenant James Meeks, and Deputy Chief Michael. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. This is right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. All the soul people there. Thank you. Well, I think you all put in kind of the practical thing to say. Education and 
singing black gospel music and a treat that she sat right up there on that stage and really looked proud. Let's bring her on right now. Are you ready for her? And your name is? My name is Helen James Haynes Stevens. That's right, Miss Stevens. You've done a lot of work in the gospel field. Let's give you this here Civic Award. And I hope that you will continue. What do you have to say to the people? Uh, let me thank Chuck Johnson and um, his committee, who is in charge of all of the services on tonight. But I'd like to let you know Psalms 34 and 1 and 3 says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Again, I want to thank Chuck Johnson, and I'd like to let him know that we will be going to Fobe, Japan, April the 29th through May the 7th. We're going to Paris, France in January, and we'd like for you to go along with us. Oh, yeah? Thank you. How about that? They're going to take me on a trip, y'all. Uh, thank you very much. Boy, 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 congratulations. And now, last but not least, the man who won the election that advertised on Soul Beat, and he's doing a good job. You're seeing a new nice tan in the city council. And I want to bring him on right now. Are you ready for Mr. Moses Bay? All right. Thank you very much. First of all, I've got to say thank you to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for helping me to get this far. I also want to say thank you to a number of people, but mostly my Soul Beat family, Chuck Johnson, Nisi, KW, Chauncey Bailey, Madge Gates, Tony Cook, and Joan. All of you have been there for me to help me get this far with Soul Beat. I want to thank you very much. And last but not least, I got to thank my staff, who you need to know, because when you need help in the city of Oakland, especially if you're from District 6, these are the people that's going to help you, along with me, my staff, Eunice, thank you for standing. Mary, would you please stand? Edith. And it's also Monique for being patient with me tonight. Thank you very much. There you have it, Moses Mays, city councilman of the district. And I want to thank all of you out there. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Our Civic Award winners of 2001. Moses, don't forget us in the city council, all right? Thank you very much, people. Pastor McGee here. Pastor McGee. And Pastor... Hi. How you doing, sweetheart? Hi, how are you doing? Every day at 6, 9, 7 in the morning, 11, we have SBN News. Could you, Chauncey Bailey, winner of many awards, <laughs> bring your news team to the stage? You know, there's 200 black newspapers in the country. There's 200 black newspapers in the country. Unfortunately, all of them are weekly papers. They come out on a Friday or just one day a week. We have the luxury, however, here in Oakland of having the only all-black newscast. Now, BET has a news show that comes on every day for about a half an hour. We give you four hours of news. More news about what's going on in the world than anyone else. That's our focus. African news, Caribbean news, world news, local news. So let's meet our news team. First, one at a time, Rodney Best, giving us the best in business. We're going to start off with Chauncey. All right. Here's yours. Thank you. Thanks very much. Well, normally they save the best for last, but in this case, you brought the best first. But anyway, I just want to say thank you again, Chuck Johnson, for uh, recognizing uh, news. 
and I think news is important, so I try to give you a different perspective of business, and I hope you're tuning in, and we're there every day, six to seven, myself and all these, and I'm gonna step back, because here's Colleen. Um, I'm Colleen Tiffinson, and I'd just like to say thank you for supporting me. I appreciate all the shout outs that I get all the time, everywhere I go, all over Oakland, and I'm gonna try to keep doing a good job for you. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. I want to thank you for the opportunity to do the sports on Solby. It's been an excellent opportunity. I also want to thank our sports director, Derek Nesbitt, for giving me the opportunity to be on air. With that, I'll turn it over to Tunde. <laughs> My voice is kind of going, but I just want to thank uh, Chuck Johnson and uh, John Sibeli and all the rest of my colleague here. Um, my voice is going again, so uh, <laughs> thank you very much for recognizing us. Well, as you can see, this is my colleague, Tayo Oyekomi of the Africa Beat program. We are very happy to be sharing information daily from the continent of Africa to our brothers and sisters, you know, Okay, so you know what's going on. Uh, instead of hearing from CNN, which is distorted, we tell you the way it is on the ground. So you know, without being there, you know this is the truth. Because whatever the other media tell you is to put you down. So we try to bring you back up because that is our land for the whole of Africa. Thank you. My name is Joan Savory. I'm from Jamaica and I want I owe it to all my viewers. First I want to say thank you to Mr. Chuck Johnson for giving me this opportunity to bring news to you from my home and also to educate you for for my culture, of my culture. So um, thank you very much, everyone in this room. Thank the staff and everyone at Soul Beat International Television Network. Thanks. I've enjoyed this crew. I don't know what the heck he said, but to all my viewers, you know what they say? If the stars got something to say, they better get it from who? That's right. Thank you so much for your support, and I love every last one of you, I swear I do. Thank you. All right. Um, I want to ditto what everybody said on the stage. These guys work very hard, especially Chauncey. I mean, he comes in all the time. He's old. He, so Chauncey is doing a great job. But Jeff, come come up a little bit. This guy, this guy right here is responsible for all the footage that we get. And, um, you know, he's always out there at 8 o'clock in the morning, and he's out there at 9 o'clock at night uh, getting his footage, and it's just not an easy thing. So we appreciate it, Jeff and uh, keep it up. And Colette's done a great job with the sports team as well, so we want to keep it going. Okay. Good e <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm Philip El Sadiq. I anchor the news on Friday nights, and it is a pleasure and an honor to give you the news from my heart to you. And remember, keep us number one in the ratings, and number one in your hearts. Thank you so much. Walk the stage. <laughs> we just want to thank Cindy for making us all look good all the time. Okay, did we finish everyone? 
Okay, where's um, Chauncey? Chauncey, I want you to come back and make sure that we get, you know, like your Monday night news. Cecilia. Cecilia and also Lucinda, who's not here, are on Tuesday. And there you have it. All right, where are those probably? And let's do it again next year. Okay, and right now, <laughs> Young Turner, you know, when your group was up on the stage, they forgot to give you your award. On behalf of the station, Solby, let's give the Oakland Airs who continue to contribute their talents and their money every month to help support our station and with their religious and gospel beat show every Sunday, yeah. I would like to give you this award for the Open Air. Thank you very much, and thank all of you, and uh, we're hoping that we can do better things in the future. I thank you for this award, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, Young Turner, Gospel Airs. And now, we uh, have uh, another award. Now, do you know who the next award goes to? We do. All right, what is it to? And she deserves it. All right. Miss Cleo Smith. Cleo? The Advertising Executive of the Year. The Advertising Executive of the Year. Miss McDonald's, Miss Merritt, Miss all the other advertisers on there. That's Cleo. Let's keep on selling. Thank you, Chuck. I think every time I turn around, Chuck calls me up and says, where's my check? Where's my check? So I, I guess he gave me a award. I got to go back to work. So Chuck, I will bring you in a check, OK? Thank you. Thank you. And also to the lovely sisters out there. OK. And as we continue, I know everybody's, huh? Um, and the sponsor of the year is Accident Case Experts. I don't know if anyone's in here to receive the award. We'll make sure they get it. Okay. Now, all of you have been waiting to hear who is the show of the year. The show of the year. Are you ready for it, people? You know, I'm on every Wednesday. <laughs> I think I have a good show. But we cannot overlook. Give me a drum roll, people. Now, this is the, one of the most important wards of Soul Beat. Who will it be? Will it be the anonymous? Or will it be spasm? <laughs> you know it is. Ladies and gentlemen, Billy E. Jones, Mike, talk, show. Let's bring him up, Billy E. Jones. Oh, Billy. Now, I thought he would be right up close. Where's Billy? You better run. I'm going to keep it. Run, Billy, run. Run, Billy, run. Run. There we go. The show of the year. Billy is also the engineer, so he makes himself look real good. <laughs> There you go, Billy, the show of the year. What do you have to say? Uh, I tell you, to the Soul Beach family, I am simply delighted, and I want to thank each and every one of you for allowing me to do one thing, and that is keep you up all night long with your Jones. Thank you so very much, family. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> Mona, come here, Mona. Come here, Mona. Actually, you know, uh, come here, Mona. Come here, Mona. Come here, Mona. Come here, Mona. You know, 
Mr. Johnson has put together such a great team that this trophy, I'll say, put a hand there, brother. Put a hand there, sister. Put a hand there, sister. I say that this trophy goes to all of us because we are truly a team here at Soul Beat. Thank you guys very much for this, for this trophy. Thank you so much. But Bill still gets the trophy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I hate to bring it up. <laughs> oh, me too. All right. And now. Okay, everybody. One of the hardest working paper person here at Soul Beat. Let's bring on right now the employee of the year, Billy E. Jones. Employee of the Year, 24-Hour Jones, you got it. The Employee of the Year, morning, noon, and night, you got it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Cavallo, Nicia, Amaka, and my boss lady, Miss Pamela Stearns, Cindy, dog. I just love y'all so much. I told Mr. Johnson that I never ever thought that I'd win a Chucky in the year 2000. I am so Madge Gates. Love you, girl. Love you. Thank you so much for all the things you've taught me. As we continue right now, Ch Ch Chauncey Bailey, continue. Family, I've got a lot of work to do because, you know, this means a lot. And of course, Mr. Johnson's gonna keep on kicking my butt. All right, there you have it. Another closing of the Hollywood Awards Ball. And I hope and truly trust that all of you have enjoyed it. And where's Miss Brown at? Trayson Brown, are you here? Trayson, come on up to the stage here. You know, we got to get out of here, but we want to leave you with the gospel word. And again, once again, we bring to you Trayson Brown as she give you the benediction. And remember, she got the best dolls in town. Our Father, we come humbly before your throne, praising your holy name tonight, Father. Father, we just want to thank you for this night, for all that you have done for each one of us. And we ask you to bless each one as we leave here, that we might arrive safely in our homes, in our destination. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you for Mr. Johnson, for this organization, for everyone that participates in it. Lord, all these blessings we ask in your Son's name and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Give him a hand, praise it. Thank you. God bless all of you. God bless you. Thank you, Mr. Right. Thank you. God bless you again. <laughs> well, and there it is. And we want to thank again Herb Gibson and his aggregation. As we leave here, oh boy, I'm glad we made it.